Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Dan. Welcome to Studio Hero. Today we're going to take a look at divide parts in Revit. So I'm going to go and duplicate a 3D view and name it 3D divide parts. If you don't know how to do that, just right click on the view, say duplicate view, duplicate. And then from here, we're going to do a little trick. We're going to go and click on a wall that we want to subdivide. So here we have a copper cladded wall. Up here in the view panel, you can click on section box, uh, shortcut BX. Click on that, it'll automatically tight, tighten a, a nice section box right around that object that you have selected. And then from here, you can go and edit that section box a little bit more if you so chose. And so here, I'm just gonna drop it down from the top, up from the bottom, over a little bit from the sides. And then I'm just gonna go and hide the rest of the stuff that I don't wanna see in this view. So I'm just making a window with everything except for the wall, right click, hide and view elements. And now I just have this wall. So from here, we're gonna go and use the tool that this video is all about. So I'm going to click on it and I'll have a contextual menu pop up. Green tab means contextual menu. So based on the context that's selected, here's the editing tools available. And then from here, we can go and click on create parts. Now what this does is it's gonna split up my composition of this wall. I click on edit type and we edit the structure. You can see all the layers that I have on this wall. So it's a copper cladded wall with metal furring and then actually um, counter furring uh, across it. And then it's mounted to or through uh, a glass fiber uh, gypsum panel. And then going, uh, that is then attached to a 10 inch metal stud wall with mineral wool insulation. And then there's a vapor retarder, and then we have our five ace, two layers of five ace gypsum to achieve a two hour fire rated wall on the inside. So, with that in mind, let's go and create these layers here. So, I click on it and I say create parts. It's going to slice it up. When you click on an object in its properties, you can go to show shape, and then you can go and drag that down just to reveal more of the layers behind it. Now this one here, I'm going to go to divide parts and this is the furring. And if we go down to the property that we click on for the object, they'll say what layer that was. So that's metal furring. So that's helpful in case you forget your composition. And so this is the vertical furring and we have counter furring behind it. And this vertical furring, I'm going to make them two inch wide going vertical. So we just go to edit sketch and then we need to show the work plan. And we need to set the work plane, pick a plane, okay. Pick on that plane there. Now the dashed line is what we need to draw our sketch lines beyond. So I'm gonna go and click and drop a vertical line down, click on it and then drag it up beyond that dashed line. And then from here, I'm gonna go and copy over what I want my distance to be on this furring strip. So I'm gonna go two inches, hit enter. And then I'm gonna make these every foot on center. So I'm gonna highlight that and then go to copy. I'm just gonna go and bring that over. And for a two inch wide piece to be on center for a foot, I'm gonna go 11 inches over first. And then from there, it's every two. So I'm just gonna go and copy that over. And if you don't understand that, that's fine. Just, um, <clears throat> just keep in mind that that's how that works. So then let's just go every foot. And if I zoom out, then I snap in uh, different increments a little bit faster and then I don't have to type it all. I wish there was a way to array this, but there's not, at least not currently. Okay, so here they are and we check that off and it's gonna divide them, check it off. Now, it doesn't look like furring strips yet. We have to hold down control and click every other. See how good your hand-eye coordination is. Don't mess up. Ah, hold down shift to unselect. Okay, then we're going to say exclude parts. Now we won't see those. And now from here, what we need to do is most likely divide up this panel into pieces as well. So divide parts. And I'm going to edit the sketch on this. And with this one, I'm going to go and draw a nice vertical line. And I'm going to take that and rotate it. Okay, got those. And this is so thin that you see these edges through it, but they're not actually there. 
And then behind it, we have the counter burring, which is uh, three inches thick. And these ones, I'm going to do more aggressively spaced since they're uh, much thicker. And I'm not drawing any more above because we don't want to, uh, we want to show stuff behind it. So we're going to check that off. Finish the sketch. We're going to hold control, pick the parts we want to hide. That's about it. Exclude parts. There's our counter fairing on this. Edit the sketch. Now this one, I just want to be able to see layer behind it. Check that off. Check that off. Pick that, exclude it. So there's our gypsum there. This stud, I'm going to divide parts on as well. And we're going to edit the sketch on it. And this one, I want to show steel studs going vertical. Nice and vertical. And then these are going to be about an inch and a half wide. So we're going to go and copy that over 1.5 inches. Okay. And then from here, we're going to go and make a copy on that and bring it over. And we want to bring this over. Um, 24 inch on center or 16 on center, either way. Um, let's just do 16 on center to show something different. So that would be 13.2, uh, I'm sorry, 15.25 inches over for the first one. And then every 16. Okay, check that off. And then check that off. So now we want to take, and what's interesting though is in between here, we do have mineral wool. So we can try to uh, modify this a little bit. So right here we have material by mineral wool. We can also change it up. So this is supposed to be mineral wool filled in between. Um, what I'm gonna do for the appearance though, is we're gonna change that color to, let's do like, a, even though mineral wool is not necessarily pink, it's like yellow. Um, what we wanna do then is, these are supposed to be steel studs in between. There we go, got them all. Then here we're gonna, choose different material. So here we want steel metal stud layer. Okay. Now we have that. And, and then we have our two type X gypsum. Now here, if we want to show that gypsum behind, which we do, um, we should click on edit sketch. We just need to draw a horizontal line through. Could also draw on an, on an angle. Let's do this one on an angle just to make it look a little bit different. Chop it like that. Finish it, and then we'll just go and hide all these guys. Now we're good. If we can get what we want. And steel metal stuff. Okay, now we can go and reveal one of these layers. Let's type X. Edit sketch. And let's just go. Once again, make sure you sketch it outside of the dash lines. All right, that's it. Let's divide parts. Now we have all the layers of this copper cladded wall. All right, don't forget to save, subscribe, and we'll see y'all later.